this is SCTV, Bobby Bittman's network. You know, satisfaction's your middle name. Uh, look, it was a fluke, believe me. I assure you it won't happen again. You, you have my word on that. Yes, I know, you paid for the advertising spot, you're gonna get it. I'll make sure that we put it on. Right, and I'll even talk to Bittman about those rings you worked out as a little deal there. I'll let him give them back. All right, okay, yes. Hello, Mr. Caballero. Hello. Uh, 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 I help myself to a little drink, is that all right? Sit down. Sure. <laughs> Sit down. I'm sorry about the Caesar thing. Bittman was a fool. How do you take a classic like that and ruin it? Yeah, sure. Well, look, uh, I guess you saw what happened, Johnny. The commies just broke right in on our signal. Oh, I saw it all right. They stole an idea I had. I, I was going to do a show just like that for SCTV. <laughs> Only a lot cheaper. Now, look, I want to have a little chit-chat with you, Johnny. Oh, sure. Now, television, as I see it, is a business. Ah! You okay, Mr. Caballero? Right that corner. Television is a business. You should round them out. I'll round you out. Now, listen to me. Television is not fun, it's a business. Someone's got to be responsible to those advertisers to get their spots on the air. Now, when that doesn't happen, of course, someone's not doing their job. And in any business, when someone's not doing their job, they usually resign. Follow me? You're thinking of resigning, Mr. Caballero? Yes, I was going to pack at it. No, I'm not going to resign. <laughs> I want you to resign. Me? You. Why? That's right, I want you to resign. I need a fall guy for this. And you're the fall guy. Mr. You produced Carrera. the show. It was Bittman. His Here's start in it. Resignation form. Just signed right there. No. It says I, Johnny LaRue, hereby resign, and I forfeit all, all severance pay. Just sign that right no. there. No. Come on, sign that, LaRue. Sign. You sign it. Come on, sign that thing. No. Come on. No. Stop lumbering and sign. Crush it. Fight. You're Where? jamming the airwaves. Where? Oh, no. CP1 Russian Television. On behalf of Communist Party Central Committee, he's honored to award Gold Star of Merit for harvesting most wheat per acre for any collective farm in all of Minsk. This award is given to Comrade Tibor. Give award. If all farms had your productivity, we not be dependent on capitalist pigs for... <laughs> Let's go. It's fine honor. Fine honor. I and I alone be best harvester in all the land. Don't be so sure, dear flathead. Who is there? It's me, Tractor, Dumkov. But Tractor cannot talk. You are farm machinery. Look, grain for brain. How do you think you plowed all that land? But how can you be talking? I'm Nikita Khrushchev. When I died, the country was in the middle of my 70-year agrarian and agricultural reform plan. My spirit was reincarnated as this tractor to help finish the job. I must go and tell everyone Nikita Khrushchev is my tractor. Stop, fool. They will put me in a museum and they'll take away your gold star. Then I will tell no one. Right. Now let's get back to work. I'm thinking of marrying her. I really, really love her. Fool. Love you can get anywhere. But does she have a back home? Coming this Tuesday on 3CB1, Nibor's Tractor. Welcome to What Fits Into Russia. Yesterday, the last country we put in place was Angola. And look, ha, with these other countries, not even half filling Mother Russia because of its enormous size. And look at rest of world. <laughs> He's almost gone. So today, let's put the so-called giant country of Argentina into place. It looks like tiny sausage against the vast, colossal size of Mother Russia. But that is only a country, you say. What about the continent? Surely there is a continent somewhere in the world big enough to fill Mother Russia. Well, 
Too bad for capitalist convicts and kangaroos who inhabit this godforsaken place, Australia. We put this into place. There we go. Look. <laughs> Giant continent. Ha! Giant joke. <laughs> it is a shame to cover the beauty of the Ukraine with it. But fortunately, because of Russia's enormous size, the Ukraine is not totally covered. <laughs> You viewers at home are enjoying this, I'll bet. <laughs> uh, yesterday, we exposed some Mississippi myths. And for today's lesson to the Americans about the incredible size superiority of the Soviets, let's put the Longhorn anti-Leninists of Texas in their place. So long, Lone Star State. <laughs> you look like a tiny star set against the vast, colossal sky of Mother Russia. <laughs> oh, too bad we are out of time. But, as you can see, this show will be going on for quite a while. See you tomorrow!